reacts. Testing one, two, three, and we are live. What's up, guys? George the Cloud here. My name is Jorge, aka George. Welcome to the channel and welcome to my live. So, I've been playing around with the um, settings in OBS. I think uh, I was having like issues, but I had to kind of reset it, reset everything, and it is a pain, let me tell you. So, let me know, please, in the comments right now, before you even breathe, comment down below if you can see me. And if you can hear me well, because I thought it was looking a little bit yellowish, like a Simpsons character. But um, yeah, as long as you can see the video and the audio is good, then, then we're good. So let's just get right into it. I'm a bit late to this because I haven't filmed a video in two days, but we're here. The past is gone. Biscuit versus AVH GBB23 World League Boss Loop Station Championship Small Final. Um, we have seen all the battles so far. If you haven't been following, I highly recommend you to check out the playlist that I'll put, um, top right at the end. And, uh, man, it's been quite the journey. A bit unexpected. Un I can't even talk. I'm still trying to get back into the, looking at the camera, looking at the video, looking at the light. So, yeah, sorry about that, guys. So I thought somebody was maybe knocking on my door but it's probably just my my conscience so anyway on paper this really looks uh a, there's a huge contrast here in styles between biscuit and avh as we know biscuit likes to bring it go ham with the rhythm style rap in your face avh completely different mellow kind of trance uh edm vibes so I'm curious to see where this goes. Also in terms of um, maybe pace. Uh, or not, what's the word here? AVH is consistent. Whereas Biscuit, maybe he'll try to do too much and that'll go against him. AVH uh, tones it down, but it works very well because it's um very refined so anyway let's just get right into it this video is already long enough so get some popcorn fill up your water put your headphones on let's go hit him with the glitch <laughs> That's the energy we're gonna go and keep for this next round. Coming up in the small finals, I do believe we are ready to go, which means that I'm gonna be bringing out our first contestant. You already know from the United States. Give it up for Biscuit! Hit him with the glitch. USA! USA! Biscuit versus, you just saw him against Mate. He's coming up directly right now. Dutch champion once again makes a noise for AVH. Hit him with the glitch. I ask you guys, are you ready for the small final? Right here, live and direct for the boss, GBB 2023. Loop Station Championship. I ask you again, are you ready for the small final? Come on! We have Biscuit versus AVH. AVH won the coin toss, chose Biscuit to go first. You already know what to do. I say the three, y'all say the two of the one. Crowd in three!
guys i'm sure you may feel the same way the idea was there the potential was huge the execution let me down a little bit the mix guys this kid god why is it so distorted is what i was saying before he tries to do so many things that i think that's why it starts to get you know muffled and um sound off because there's so many effects and things going on and it doesn't sound clean but over like i could i was in it you know what i mean like i could see this track i really want to see a clean version of this please biscuit of of all year round basically because god they're so good but it's just if it's not clean then no good right so let's see what uh also i thought he was kind of playing into avh's vibe a little bit you know like a dance electronic uh kind of song so let's see what avh brings to the table but god i wish that was cleaner damn coming in hot usa representing biscuit right there what do you think of round one yeah. avh on you round one i say the three you say the tway and the ein tray
classic AVH does not waver or change from his style. As we like to say in the art world, less is more, right? Compare the two realms, drastically different. The more creative, sure, and complex, sure, we'll give it to Biscuit. But in terms of cleanliness and something nice for the ear to listen to, we have to give it to AVH. I mean, you know, at the end of the first two rounds, I have AVH up. I don't think it's close. Um, he's so consistent with his style. Sorry, guys, I'm going to get a phone call here. Very unfortunate. But uh, yeah, I was going to say he's very consistent with his style. And his presentation is also on point. He makes you believe everything he does right it's like everything is intentional the way he moves the way he he looks at you at the audience at the camera he's just chilling right doesn't even seem like he's battling he's just um kind of doing his thing almost like a showcase or like a show he's he's performing a show and that's also cool right depends on how you want to go with it but in his case he didn't really need to battle biscuit because the sound is doing it for him let's see what happens i actually don't i don't even know who wins this at the end because i've get, i've been getting spoiled but really this is one that i i don't know who wins um but biscuit has to come on with something strong and clean guys clean let's go oh, that's tough ABH bringing that heat in. Oh my God, am I the only one that thinks that blue is super, like, it's beautiful. I've said this before. If you were here in one of the first videos, I mentioned how that's one of my favorite colors, tones, hues of blue. But it's super bright. I feel like I'm getting close to a, like a, a star or something. As well, we go back to Biscuit. Round number two, his last round of the competition. I say the three, y'all say the two and the one crowd. Let's get it in three.
Where was this round before? He needed this against Robin. My god, this was a killer track. Destruction. Annihilation. Um, wow, this was so much stronger than his first round. This almost felt like two rounds. That's how powerful it was. And again, complete opposites. With AVH, you know exactly what you're getting basically from start to finish. The evolution of the track is not that drastic. It's like, add some elements, take away some elements, add some, the same, you know, take away and that's it. With Biscuit, it's constantly changing and evolving uh, up until the end. And I think I've said this before, he's one of the fastest loopers to establish a sound, a vibe, right? I think along with maybe Sorrow. But um, yeah, it's just he does it so quickly that he has so much time to play around with it. And that's why he makes it look easy. He's just like switching it up, doing different effects. How many drops did that have? That had like six drops or something. And it was heavy. The sound quality way better than the, the... I don't know what the issue is because this seemed to have so many elements. But still the sound quality was better than his first track by a lot. So now this is... And he also added the battle element, right? He's gonna, he, he was like, AVH, you don't deserve to be here in my presence. So, okay, now it's... Uh, now AVH has to make up some ground here because that round was bonkers. Bonkers. Let's see what happens. I'm actually curious. I, I don't know. I don't know. Biscuit, mash up the stage, going back to AVH. Are you ready? I say the three, you say the tway, and the aim. Three! Bro, my ears bleed, man. <coughs> I think that's the only time I've ever heard AVH say something battle-ish or a comeback, ever. My ears are bleeding. That Actually, that's not bad. Because it, it actually makes sense with Biscuit's style and everything. So yeah, I think even Biscuit was shocked. He was like, well, I'm, I'm going to go back. You say the tway and the aim. Three. Bro, my ears bleed, man.
This is for Kraken. Let me know, guys, what he... Who was that for? I was surprised at the end because that round flew by. I don't know what happened. Did I teleport or something? I was vibing. Then I looked at the clock. There's like 15 seconds left. I said, what? I felt like there was a minute uh, remaining. Wow, this is... I feel like I've said this for other battles in this competition, but this might be the closest one. And it's so hard because they're so different in styles. At this point, it's just preference in music. You know what I mean? Like, what? which one do you prefer? Um, AVH, as consistent as it gets. I don't think I've ever seen a looper be this consistent. Yes, it's minimalist, not as complex. There's a lot less things going on, but they're super well done. I've said this before. I think it's better to be a master of one trade than a jack of all trades, right? Wait, what's the saying? <laughs> Did I mess that up? Uh, jack, of all, jack of all trades, master of none. So it's better to just be really good at one thing and... That is literally AVH. Although Biscuit, he has so much going on for him. Not saying that he's not a master of anything. Of course, he's a GBB uh, loop, sta loop Station champion. But in this occasion, I think he, he maybe got overconfident and thought he had it in the bag with Robin. And of course, getting to the semi, the small final, you're, um, what is it? Like you're... What am I trying to say? Like, he's definitely going into this with psychologically damaged. Because who wants, who really wants to win the small final or go all out? You really want to be there for the final. So, having lost that opportunity, he's kind of like, ah, I don't, you know, I don't think maybe you would take it as seriously or go as hard is what i'm trying to say but his biscuit second round i think they that made up for well made up for his first round that second round was two rounds and then abh so i think this is super close but in terms of battle i would give it to biscuit because if i'm saying that biscuit second round was so powerful that i'm counting it as two rounds so those two rounds versus avh battle wise biscuit won but man this was i guess in theory this is really close it's just completely different styles let's see what happens might be a split decision i don't even also avh had has a little bit of an advantage because he went last if biscuit had gone last with that second round then it's a lot clearer mm. biscuit avh if you enjoyed that make some noise give it up 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 small final boss GBB 23 Loop Station Championship. Gentlemen, walk to the front, take a bow. Incredible battle. Bringing us to fourth place. I need to get Bizkit and AVH to the stage. Right here live and direct, once again, the boss, GBB, 
23, Loop Station, third place, small final champion. Put your hands in rhythm, mine. Crowd, help me out. We're about to go and find out who it is. USA. 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 A V H. A V H. A V H. A V H. Taking fourth place. Incredible job, my friend. Incredible job. Yo, this is Biscuit. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you want to support me on my streaming platforms, find me at B I Z K I T. And you want to support my social media, Instagram, YouTube, that's at Alex Sanchez Creates on all platforms. Thank you very much. Yo, this is AVH. Thank you for watching. You can follow me on my socials, my YouTube, my Spotify, my Instagram. The link is down in the description below. Thank you for watching. All right, all right. So, as expected, we don't get the voting to see, you know, how much, who voted for who. Well, first things first, we like, we subscribe. But, um, as expected, Biscuit took, 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 Biscuit took the W. Now, French. This is French, George the Cloud. Um, yeah, so Biscuit won. Congratulations, he's still so young. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but Biscuit is like, what, 21? 22 at the most? Because I remember he won GBB, and he wasn't even 20. I think he was 19 in 2021. So he must be around 21. And AVH, I don't know how old he is. He's probably like, what, 32? So the age gap is pretty big, you know, considering. So just imagine what Biscuit could do in 10 years. Like, you know five years let alone 10 years so he's still super young and has so much potential just has to i don't know kind of it's hard to win back to back anything just look at sports any championship team you win so you're at your peak emotionally and then next year you're like you still have that kind of oh i just won mentality so maybe you kind of relax a little bit and it's you don't have that same drive to win it again right that really only happens once every time after that it's just a little bit different and i think a little bit less so but anyway still a great small final super cool to see such different characters i picture them almost like like fictional characters right like personalities and styles cool to see them battle side by side because aside from um, cha like uh, you know championships competitions battles whatever you can listen to a looper's tracks or whatever an artist but to see them side by side i think it's it's so interesting imagine if we could do that with musicians right like on stage kind of in a battle setting ish and you got uh, well it can't happen now but let's say you got michael jackson versus metallica something like that or uh led zeppelin versus the beatles wouldn't that be interesting huh wouldn't that be cool i know it can't happen but um yeah it's just an idea so anyway guys i uh, thank you for tuning in of course i will be checking out the grand final which should come out in i think a few hours so i'll probably i'll try to get that done tomorrow and um enjoy the playlist that i'll have at the top right thank you if you stayed for the entire commentary and video because most people don't so i appreciate it hit the like subscribe share join the channel guys what the heck and at the end do a flip till the next thanks for watching